Corporate projects. Now, the corporate world is scary. It is big, it is scary, and it goes between these two circles, corporate venturing and impact investing. Corporate venturing is when larger companies decide to start thinking, investing, developing a new product. So they have their established products, but they say, we need something new now. Now, something new is new for them as well, which means something new for a large company is like a small new business startup within a large company. That is corporate venturing. Impact investing is when they want to do some good in the society, when they want to have an impact. For example, Steve Jobs' iPad was a corporate venturing that changed the idea we use smart devices and tablets. Um, Coca-Cola sponsoring the Olympic Games is impact investing. It's a very large firm that, design, that, that decide to sponsor, become one of the main sponsors uh, for one of the sport events in the world. Impact investing. It's a project. It is not part of their daily activities. It is something different. So, and you can get involved in both. Larger firms launching new products or larger firms having an impact, being involved into a project that might not really be a product, but the PR, the public relation, gives them marketing uh, credentials. It, it, it can be an event, a sponsorship, something they need your skills, even if it's something temporary. So these are the two opportunities. Even large firms. Now, it is scary, but it's possible. And large firms try to make it easy. For example, NASA invests... Uh, invites students to participate in a space habitat design competition. So NASA, of course they have all the experts, but they thought, well, let's invite students. How would they design a habitat, a place to live on Mars or on another planet? Now, look out for these invitations because companies do put them forward. Hmm? So don't... You can suggest them to them as well, but sometimes they really open up and they... And there's no reason why you cannot go and apply. And if you're really into uh, aerospace habitat design um, and you really know about that, well, you can apply. So, uh, and these are open. Larger firms have become more and more open to bring in external creative talent because they realize that they can do much more this way, more efficient and more cheaply. Corporate venturing and strategic renewal. Corporate venturing, there the are two different things. Uh, the creation of a new business within a corporate setting. So corporate venturing is when a new business is created within an existing business. Strategic renewal is the reconfiguration of existing business. So changing, reinventing the existing business. Two possible ways or strategies how to do that. Companies like Apple have a top-down process. So... Apple, someone on top thinks of a great idea, you know, an Apple smartwatch or now, you know, the Apple uh, earphones that are very expensive, but they are wireless. So, and then it's implemented. But other companies like 3M, um, they have a more bottom-up approach. They give lab space and resources to their creative talents, uh, internal, and they say, make it happen, make something happen. And that's how Post-it notes uh, came to exist. The combination of the idea of one guy who used to go to church and then uh, he wanted to put notes on his, on his Bible uh, and then and they would fall. And then he talked to another of his colleagues who developed this glue that was sticky but, but didn't stick on both sides. And they worked together and they created post-it notes, which is paper with some glue that could stick on a book hmm, to, to just stay there and then you can write a note there and they won't fall off. Post-it notes were created out of uh, the need of one engineer who was working on something totally different in 3M, who talked to another engineer in 3M, and they created this product. So it was a bottom-up approach. So two examples of corporate venturing strategies. Uh, strategic renewal, on the other hand, is more about adapting to the market. On one hand, you have Porter's five forces. So what are the forces that companies face, even large firms in the market? Bargaining power of suppliers, of new entrants, um, 
of rivalry within the industry and so on. Those forces have caused the journey of mobile phones to become, to be just like the one you see in the picture. They started very big with an antenna and they became very, very small. And then they started becoming big and flat again with larger screens as a result of each of these companies, Samsung, Apple, uh, LG, and all of them, Huawei now, Xiaomi, responding to all this competition within the environment. Strategic renewal, yeah? Um, new to the market or new to the organization? This is the way organizations think. Is something they are working on new to the market or new to the organization? Hmm? It depends. And you can, uh, and what do you want to specialize more when working with larger firms. So all these four dimensions are possible.